Hello everyone, welcome to my FP3 video um, from the OCR January 2013 paper. We are going to look at question three. As you can see, we've got a first order differential equation with x dy by dx minus 3y equals x to 4 e to 2x. Now the trick is with these differential equations is to think the left hand side as a result of the product rule. Okay, because here we have a function and the function is derivative. So that means that here we will have another function and that function is derivative. Obviously, minus three is not the derivative of x. So we have a trick that we can use to multiply the equation by something and make sure that whatever we have here is the derivative of this, so that we can reverse the product rule, okay? The trick that we have to do this is called the integrating factor. Before we can use that, we have to make sure that there's nothing here, okay? Just a one, basically. So we divide the whole equation by x, first of all, and we get minus three over x, x to three. Now we can use our integrating factor, and we get our integrating factor by doing e to the integral of this function, minus 3 over x. So we find out that our integrating factor is e to minus 3 ln x, and you don't need to use the plus c. Using your laws of logs, you bring the power of minus 3 to the x, and then obviously e and ln are inverses, so you just get x to minus 3. What we have just found is what you need to times the whole equation by to make sure that it is in the form that we talked about. So we're going to multiply this whole equation by x to minus 3. So we get x to minus 3 dy by dx minus 3x to minus 4y equals e to 2x. Now this is what I was mentioning before. The left hand side is the result of the product rule. We've got a function, its derivative, and another function and its derivative, which actually works this time. So that means that the left hand side is simply the differential of the two functions, i.e. x to minus 3 and y, okay? And this gives us e to 2x. Now we're trying to solve for y, so what we have to do is we have to undo the differential by integrating. So when we integrate, we just get back out our function and we have to integrate the right hand side. The integral of the right hand side is a half e to 2x. Now we need our plus c. Okay, so we're going to find our plus c, our arbitrary constant, by using the boundary conditions that x is 1 when y is 0. Okay, so we're going to substitute in now that x is 1 and y is 0. So this becomes 0, this becomes a half e to 2 plus c, which means that c is minus a half e squared. Now we write out our equation again from here, but obviously we replace c with minus a half e squared. So x to minus 3 y equals a half e to 2x minus a half e squared. The final thing to do is just write this a little bit nicer. We're going to times by x cubed and we're going to just factorize out the half. So we get that y equals x cubed over 2 times by e to the 2x minus e squared. I hope that has helped. Thank you for watching and Good luck in your maths work. Thank you.